Yo, this is going to be another ALT help video. Uh, in an earlier video, I stated you don't need Japanese to live in Japan, and that's kind of true. They're very English uh, friendly people. Um, even if they can't understand you, if you use hand gestures and uh, the like, most of the time you can pretty much find what you want. And of course, now with their education system really hammering that English in, it's going to become easier uh, the closer we get to the 2020 Olympics because that's what they're really, really uh, hankering down for right now. But also because they're international and English is more well known than uh, any other language in the world. So I thought uh, I'd introduce a couple of phrases. Um, just a few that you'll probably be using a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so one of the first ones is konnichiwa. Um, many people know this. This is a basic greeting, means hello. It also means um, good afternoon. But most of the time you could say konnichiwa and they will understand what you're trying to say. You're just basically saying hello. Um, of course, if you want to be a little bit more specific, uh, you could say good morning, ohayo gozaimasu. Sometimes you'll hear them just say Ohio. That's the more uh, informal, that's more friendly. Uh, but Ohio gozaimasu, Ohio gozaimasu is the formal way. So you always have that. Same thing if you want to say good afternoon, konnichiwa, that's it, nothing else to it. Or if you want to say uh, good evening, konbanwa, that always means good evening. And if you're leaving someone for the night, you won't see them till later or the next day, you can say oyasumi nasai. If you're really friendly, Oyasumi works just fine. Nasai is added to make it a little bit more formal. Um, so you'll always say, uh, you know, Konnichiwa. Uh, another one that will be used often is Arigato, which means thank you. And you can say uh, Arigato gozaimasu, which is a little bit more formal. Or if you want to be super duper formal, Domo Arigato gozaimasu. Domo. Domo is another way uh, by itself if you just want to say thanks or thank you, so domo. But uh, arigato is usually the one that you'll, you're hearing used the most. Um, another big phrase that you're going to use a lot, 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 is sumimasen. Sumimasen. Sumimasen is their way of saying excuse me. Uh, you use this in a variety of ways. It can also mean I'm sorry. Um, so if you bump into somebody, oh, sumimasen, sumimasen. Or if you're trying to get to, you know, somebody's um, attention, sumimasen, sumimasen, uh, jesse-san, sumimasen. And so basically it's another way, oh, excuse me, I need to ask you something, or excuse me, I need your attention. So sumimasen, also a very big one. You'll hear this very, very much in the country, uh, and it'll just pop up in conversations. And of course it always happens whenever they're just trying to get your attention. It's the nice way and it's also an easy way for them to understand. Um, so you have your basic greeting like konnichiwa, eh, ohayo gozaimasu, eh, konban oyasumi. Um, so another way if you want to say I'm sorry, so if you step on someone's shoe, I did this the other day when I went to the movies, uh, when I saw Doctor Strange. And as I was walking to my seat, I accidentally stepped on a guy's foot and I just turned and I bowed my head and tried to be as sincere as possible. And I was, all I could say was, oh, go minasai, go minasai. Go minasai is another, uh, very, really? What is that? <laughs> that came from somewhere. Um, but yeah, go minasai is like the formal way of saying, I'm sorry. It's more, um, it's more of like a deep apology than if you just say uh, sumimasen. Sumimasen is more something like, oh, I bumped into you by accident trying to get on the train, sumimasen. Most of the time they won't tell you that though because they're in a hurry and they view it as, it's like, well, I'm gonna bump into you anyway because they're crammed like sardines, so uh, there's no need to say it. But, you know, teach their own. Same thing like, uh, you know, you'll, you'll notice that whenever you talk to a few of them but that was just a few things that I thought people would be interested in um, just some simple phrases that you're gonna hear a lot that you'll use a lot and this is like basic Japanese 101 so that's it for this one uh, I will see you guys later